Imagine this, Botswana, one of the tourism capitals of the world, where the Okavango Delta, the Ngamilan region, the Chobe district, are some of the most busiest locations in terms of tourism activities in the world. Those of us who reside in Haborone and generally Botswana citizens, we know that there's very little to no tourism activity to do in this city. Botswana, we can do better than this. Dumelang, Kibidua Mimi Mudimakwane, and I am a member of the Board of Trustees for Young Africa Botswana. I think it's important the work that is being done here at IAB, not just because I'm a member of the Board of Trustees, but because I myself am a young Botswana creative entrepreneur. It is important that we all know the vision of Young Africa Botswana, which is to train and upskill the youth of this country, not just to create jobs for themselves but to create jobs for their fellow Botswana. The creative industry in this country is on the rise and we believe in it so much that we are looking to create a hub for creativity here in the heart of Khaborone. We're looking to leverage off of the resources that we have locally, the creativity and the culture, the rich culture that we have in this country in order to build a creative hub in the city center. Now, the tourism industry in this country has been hard hit by the COVID-19 pandemic. And we have seen that we had a heavy reliance as a country on imports. And now is an opportunity for us to grow the local communities, to grow the local SMMEs, especially looking at the tourism industry. So as Young Africa Botswana, we thought it was important to create this tourism hub within the city center. Imagine this, having a place where creatives conglomerate, having a place where you can come and see all the diverse art and culture, crafts, food, everything that is naturally and beautifully Botswana here in one place. This is what we're looking to create. When you come to our center, you will no doubt see the artistic creativity that exists within this country. You will see from the murals that we have on our outside walls, painted by our local creative artists. I'm Priscilla, the resident artist at Young Africa Botswana, and I facilitate some of the workshops such as the Draw and Paint online workshops, which is in line with our mandate to push the art culture in Botswana. Showcasing just how diverse their talents are, but not only their talents, but how diverse this center really is. Everywhere you go, you will see creativity. You will feel and experience creativity. And we're looking to grow that. We're doing this through incubating businesses here in the center. So far, we have eight businesses here at the center. I'm a representative of AMO Waterproofing, a company which does construction waterproofing. And we are in partnership with Young Africa Botswana. At Rwanda Kuta Foundation and Nutrition Center, we are in partnership with Young Africa Botswana, who are providing coaching and mentorship so that we may be able to reach more students and more kids in the community. We're training them, we're upskilling them in marketing, in administrative uh, duties, in business growth in general. But we're doing this through a method that is very unique and new to the country called trading and training. Young people in Botswana have the unfortunate circumstance of growing up in a space um, where there are not enough jobs and it's getting increasingly difficult to be able to create your own. So in response to that, um, Young Africa Botswana and the team have really dedicated themselves to ensuring that we can assist um, these young people by giving them the skills necessary for them to be able to survive in this market. Um, a large part of that is the fact that we're able to provide them with entrepreneurial skills 
and we help entrepreneurs on different levels. We help those that just have an idea and feel like they would really like to explore that idea and start a business. And then we also assist the entrepreneurs that have started are in the early stages of their business and really would like to take it to the next level. Besides that, we are offering employability skills and that is then specifically for those youth who are qualified but have a distance to the job market and are not interested in uh, or are not the aspiring entrepreneurs. Um, we will provide them with skills to find that job. Uh, we work on self-motivation, on the way to how they present themselves, how they write a CV, a resume. And of course, uh, we train them uh, with them to have that uh, super uh, job interview um, besides uh, work ethics. Um, uh, next to the employability skills, we also offer um, on-the-job training. Uh, and that is to, to, to train, as I said, on the job, uh, the skills that they have learned at school uh, with one of our um, in-house partners or partners that we find specifically for, uh, for the uh, industry. Through a partnership with the Ministry of Youth Empowerment, Sports and Culture Development, we have managed to leverage off of key programs that the government of Botswana has created so that we can further create the growth that is necessary for the businesses that we house. Uh, we are here this morning uh, to, make, to do this work, which is such a critical activity for us as a ministry and also for young people. And I want to wish to start by recognizing uh, the contribution that young Africa is making in our community. We're working with, right now, 100 Fidelis Chama participants in terms of growing their businesses, but also growing their skills in terms of sewing and other different ways that they can do uh, businesses, they can enterprise in order to, for example, tackle the COVID-19 pandemic. Chama, just put all the confidence you have in this, okay? It's always hard at the end, okay? So this is the last bit. All I'm saying is, take the needle, and thread it. Because okay? It could never. So just I didn't give you a tag. So just take the needle and then thread it and follow that path. And you will be done. I promise you. Look how far you have come. And like your cushions look so nice. It's the first sewing project in this class, yes? Our vision is that by this time next year, we would have increased our businesses, the SMEs that we house, from eight to 20, and the growth to be continuous and upward trajectory-like. We also help young graduates uh, to find their feet and help them through the process of qualifying for employment in the near future. Uh, what we do is we take them and offer them a chance to develop the soft skills necessary for the job environment, as well as offer them on the job training. Uh, as we speak, we currently have uh, 17 young people who are going through this employability skills development program. And we currently have uh, a few entrepreneurs who are currently going through our mentorship program and uh, getting business support from our team here. We have a huge premises here and we look forward to cultivating also an agricultural industry here at the heart of the city where we house businesses that focus on agriculture and we open a restaurant where we can have an ecosystem from farm to fork where you come here you're eating fresh food grown by our entrepreneurs right here in the city. We're also looking to create a farmers and art market where we can have these entrepreneurs showcase the works that they've done, share the food that they've cooked, and also make money not only for themselves but for the centre through revenue collection, gate takings and, and the like. Hi, my name is Bitima Lokinese and welcome to my kitchen. Our company is called The Hot Spoon Catering and of course we cater. We cater for corporate events, private parties, birthday parties, weddings and so on. I came to Young African Botswana in 2019 for the first time as an employee and then returned in 2020 now as an in-house partner running my own business 
from this kitchen. What we do is, apart from catering, we also train the youth of, of Khaboron West in making jams, making pastries, breads and other catering skills. Young Africa Botswana has opened up many doors for me. I have had opportunities to cater for ambassadors within Botswana when they have their functions here. I have had the opportunity to actually visit and interact with other people who I would have otherwise not had the opportunity to interact with and cater for. I'm actually a trained social worker but decided to go into catering because that is where my passion lies. Young Africa Botswana is dedicated to growing creative entrepreneurs here in this country. And we also have a vision of creating a, an online portal, an online hub where we can retail the arts and crafts that are being created here at the center to the rest of the world. Why I am here is because I love to be here and that, that I enjoy, you know, so th there is a little bit that I can contribute, but there is so much that I'm getting in return and I want the world to see that, that, that beauty. I, I am happy if I can help a bit to present this beauty. We hope and trust that in hearing and seeing the vision that we have for the youth of Botswana, you too will be inspired to contribute, to create, to find ways of collaborating with us as Young Africa Botswana, to further grow this mandate and further achieve this big ambitious dream that we have. With my hands, I could build a city. With my gifts, I could change the world. Got my brothers, got my sisters with me. We can change the game. While we are young and free, there ain't no more denial, oh Lord, that we can reach. You best believe it, you and me. We got the power to fulfill our dreams. I'm making TV cool Making TV cool